What's up there is Mr. Mike Kaufman and in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize your e-learning office hours for your students using appointment slots in Google Calendar and Zoom to make it a one-stop place where students can book time with you to get some extra help. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing here is I have started already, I've created already a specific calendar call office hours and I'm doing this just to help keep my Google Calendar organized. To do that, you can simply click the plus and go in there and get that started. Once I have that calendar created, I'm going to go to the time for my office hours. So let's say, for example, I've got office hours from 1.30 to 2.15 on Tuesdays. I want to make sure here that I'm using my correct calendar. I'm going to give a name. And I'm going to choose appointment slots. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to choose the duration meaning how long is going to be the average meeting with students. Default is 30, maybe let's go 15 minutes. And what I'm going to do now is click make it a Zoom meeting. Now when you go to add your appointment slots, if the Zoom make it a Zoom meeting button does not appear, it's because you need to add the Zoom scheduler from the Chrome Web Store. To do so, go to the Chrome Web Store, search for Zoom scheduler, from there, click Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. You'll notice it'll pop up there in your Chrome extension window. For the first time, what you want to do is open it up and sign in with your Zoom account. From there, if you go back, refresh your calendar, make it a Zoom meeting button will now appear. All right, now, what I'm going to do here is because I know that my office hours are going to be pretty consistent in terms of when they are, so instead of having to create new ones every Tuesday, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to edit this event. Now the first thing I'm going to do before I get into the repeating is I'm going to erase a lot of this information because realistically I know my students don't need any of that. I'm going to erase up to there. Actually, I'm going to erase all that from the top two. And I want to do that because, again, my students don't need that information, and then it'll give them some more space to write in a description, um, which I want to train my students to do, so I know what the appointment's going to be about. The next thing I can do is here where it says doesn't repeat, I'm going to say weekly on Tuesday. I'm going to click Save. Now from here, if I take a look, I can see that those office hours are repeating on Tuesdays and repeating on Tuesdays forever. All right, so that's a good thing. Now, to share this with students, I'm going to click on it, and I'm actually going to copy then this link. I can do that by opening it up in a separate tab, or I can simply do my secondary click, copy link address, and then I'm going to give you the student view. So you can share this link with students, the classroom, or however else you communicate and share information. And then here we go. So here are the Tuesday hours, right? You notice the student goes the following week. There are also there as well. Now what I want to do is show my students that when they want to book a time, I simply click on it. And what I want them to do is I want them to write a little bit of description in here about what it's going to be about. All right. I want some help with blah 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 blah. All right. Click save. Alright. And right now that appointment then has been booked. So if I refresh this calendar page, I can now see, right, that there's been a booking. Now I can click on it, and I can see here that it's middle school student, right, and there's the description I want some help with blank. Now to start this meeting, all I need to do is click on the Zoom link. The student, all they have to do is go to their calendar and click on the Zoom link, and they're in. Now note, if they click on the Zoom link before the scheduled time, they will not be able to enter in any other Zoom meeting with you or anything like that. Instead, they will just be waiting there until you actually begin the meeting. Now, a couple of things to take account of is in your calendar settings, if I click on the three-dot menu and go Settings and Sharing, there's a couple of things that I want to do to make sure that my students can get it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure the access permissions are granted to people in my domain, in this case, the American School Foundation of Guadalajara. And then particularly for me, I want to make sure that I get a notification so that I know I'm about to have the appointments. And I also want to make sure that I get notifications when a new event, a new event is set up. That's it. 
That's how to set up your digital office hours using appointment slots in Google Calendar along with the power of Zoom. Good luck.